I'm gonna shave it on. So this is kind of like. I just got back from workouts. I need to rush because I need to clean my room, pack a little bag to go home. I want to go to Starbucks and then I have a eyebrow wax appointment at 945 at this place on my way home. So I really, really need to be quick here. So my room's a disaster. Yesterday I was so tired. I was like, everything's just going to get thrown on the ground. I don't care about being clean. So this morning I really want to clean it. So it's nice when I get back. So I'm going to do a time lapse of me cleaning my room. I'm honestly embarrassed to show you, but it's fun to watch. So I'll show you. <laughs> Starbucks. It took me like five minutes to pick up my room. So if your room's messy, this is your sign to go take five minutes and just pick up some random stuff. It'll make you feel so much better. Packed all my bags in like five minutes as well. And I'm like out of breath from carrying all the stuff. But let's go to Starbucks. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get so many things. <laughs> Good morning and thank you for choosing Starbucks. My name is Glenn. How can I help you today? Hi, can I have a grande brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk and veggie egg white bites? And the egg white bites, of course. Is there anything else I can help you with today? And do you have pumpkin loaf today? Yes, I do. And one of those warm, please. All right, and thank you. Thank you. You guys, I was just looking on Apple Podcasts to see what podcast I want to listen to on my way home, and I looked up the podcast that my sister and I have, and it's on there. So I'll put a picture of it here, and it's called The Good Things Are Coming Podcast. We just did our first episode. It's a little rough. You can also listen to it on Spotify. I'm pretty sure I have to double check, but it's definitely on Apple Podcasts, but I don't know. This is like so exciting because... I always listen to podcasts and it's just so like surreal to see ours on there and social media is just crazy because you can create these opportunities for yourself that you never thought would be like attainable but if you just go for it then it's possible but I'm so excited about my Starbucks it's gonna be so good I'm so hungry I have an eyebrow wax appointment at 10 45 so I'm gonna head there go get my eyebrows waxed and then I need to get gas so bad because I'm running out but I'm gonna get my Starbucks and I'm gonna figure out what podcast I want to listen to today but we'll see I'll let you guys know I'm sorry the sun is like kind of weird but I got my brown sugar shake and espresso my egg white bites the sun I'm sorry and my pumpkin loaf. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. It's my favorite part of my week when I can get Starbucks and then just have it on my way home. But yeah, I might start driving and I'll talk to you guys after my wax appointment. I just got my eyebrows done. The lady was really nice, so let's head home. I've been listening to the Drink More Water podcast. I'll put it in the description down below. I'm going to head home now and I'll talk to you guys when I get back.
that I usually plant stuff in in the summer and it doesn't look so great right now. And I want to turn it into more of like a fall little plant box. So I got some flowers and I am going to get some pumpkins to put in. We also have this pot and this pot, that one too. Don't know if we're going to do anything with those, but today I want to try and fix this box up and make it look better because this is definitely not a good look. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I'm going to go grab the mums, I think that's what they're called, and then I'm going to get started. I know there's a few tomatoes on here, but I don't think they're going to be very big, so I think it's time for them to go. And I might repaint the box, it does not look the best right now, but I'll keep you guys updated. So that you can make tweaks and adjustments as you move forward. Now, traditionally, a top... Okay, I'm going to make these pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I'll link the recipe down below. I got all my ingredients out. Also, I just made some pierogies for lunch. Pierogies, if you don't know what they are, they're pretty much just this noodle looking thing filled with mashed potatoes. And you put butter on the outside and I put a little pepper on top and they're so good. But I'm gonna make these cookies now. I'm so excited, they're gonna be really good. And I'll show you guys how they turn out. Lily outside, she's right there if you <laughs> couldn't find her. She loves going outside. And I'm just sitting here on these steps waiting for the cookies to be done. I'll show you guys them when I head back inside. But it's actually so nice out for it to be October. Or maybe today's the last day of September. I'll have to check. But it's officially fall. I'm so excited. I love when the trees like change colors and everything. It's such a pretty view. Lily, come back. This dog does not listen at all. <laughs> I'm so excited for fall. I'm going to plant my plants tonight, I think. If not, tomorrow I'll do it. So that'll look nice. I'm just going to enjoy this nice weather. And I'll show you the cookies when I go back inside. Okay, I'm back from Walmart and now I'm gonna plant those flowers. I got pumpkins and stuff, so I'll show you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good morning. <laughs> Hello. this acorn squash stuff with ground turkey i've never had acorn squash before so i'm excited to try it i think it has minimal ingredients i'll link it down below for you guys for a cup. You guys, my hair is not drying very cute. I just got this mug today from Walmart. Very cute. Okay. I don't know when this video is going to come up, but I know um, Matt, my boyfriend, watches my videos. So if you're watching to this point, skip like past all of this so you don't see, <laughs> so you don't see what I'm about to show you. So please don't cheat and see because I feel like the package is not going to send by the time this video is already up. So please go skip this part of the video but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm sending him because he goes to school in another state and we won't see each other till December and it's October 2nd today. So we haven't seen each other in a while so I wanted to send him something. So I got this box and then I wanna do a thing called like a sunshine box. I don't know, if you don't know this already, I get everything off of Pinterest. So I saw this on Pinterest and I thought it was a cute idea. It's like everything's all yellow, just fun, like little snacks or things that remind you of them or whatever you want to do. It can be for a friend, a parent, like it could be for anyone, but this is for my boyfriend. So I got a bunch of random stuff that I know he likes or he needs or I want him to try. So this is what this box is. This is how I did the bottom. Here, I'll show you. So at the bottom, I just put like white paper down. I cut out like the state that I live in. Then I wrote someone from Pennsylvania misses you on it. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna put at the bottom of the box. If you guys don't really care about what I'm about to show, just skip to another part in this video. Probably be like five minutes. I'm gonna show you all the things I'm gonna put in the box as I put them in the box. So, first I'm gonna send him some of this Liquid IV. Liquid IV was so nice to send me a bunch of stuff in the mail. You can use my code abby.sam3, all caps, for 25% off. So I'll leave that in the description and I'll also put the discount code on the screen above. 
So yeah, first thing I'm gonna send him is this. I got him two yellow drinks, Gatorade and then a vitamin water. He's gluten-free, so I got him some of these gluten-free chips. I think they're like Pringles. Two Slim Jims. I don't even know if he likes Slim Jims, but I really want him to try them. So I got two Slim Jims. I'll try and like categorize these things together. He loves cornbread and he can't get cornbread at the Walmart by his school. So I got him two boxes and gluten-free, of course, two boxes of gluten-free cornbread. He has a kitchen in his apartment and has been having to cook. So I got him some different spices to try out. I got dash, some garlic palm parmesan, taco seasoning, and then this like stir fry seasoning. So those are kind of just random, but something for him to try. And then I got him these cheddar little crisps. I just thought they looked fun and I don't think he's ever had them before, so we can try those. I saw this, I just thought, you know, boys can always just <laughs> use stuff like this. I don't know. Some wipes because I know he would never buy these for himself. So this is me buying them for him. Tic-tacs, some candy, some gum, a big thing of Starburst candy. Don't even know if he likes those, but it was yellow. And then some chapstick because he told me he was running out. And then I got him these two sponges because he has to do dishes now at his apartment all the time and I know they don't have any of these things so that's why I wanted to get him this. Oh and also I got him this dish soap so he can go with it. I am probably sound like I'm crazy but I just know he probably needs these things. I got him a few more snacks. These granola bars, these Velveeta. I don't think he's ever tried these so some chips, some mini golden Oreos. I know these aren't gluten free, but he'll be fine. I got some of this yellow stuff to just kind of throw throughout the box. I think people use this for Easter and stuff like that. Got him some containers so that when he makes food, he can just save it for lunch the next day or take it on the go with him some popcorn, and then lastly, I got him this ice little, I think it's like a car freshener, but he doesn't have a car, so maybe he can just throw this in one of his like soccer bags so that makes it smell good. So yeah, these are all the things that I got him, and I'm gonna put them all in this box and I'll show you guys how it looks after I put it all in. Also, I got him this card. Um, I don't know, I just thought it was funny. And it goes perfect because it's yellow and it's like a golden retriever dog. So this is kind of like the setup I have. It's kind of just all piled together. I'm gonna throw that like yellow stuff, like this stuff all throughout. I'm gonna put this in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't spill, but yeah. So I finished making the box. It looks so cute, I'm so excited. He's Probably gonna be like, Abby, what the heck? I don't even need any of these things, but it was more fun for me to make it than, I don't know, he probably doesn't even need any of that stuff. But my dad and I are about to go to this local, it's like a winery, but it's also like a berry farm. And they sell this raspberry, like dark chocolate pie that's so good. And I'm so excited, we're gonna go grab one. Our dinner, turned out really good i'm so excited i didn't taste it yet but came out of the oven and i think we did the recipe right so i'm excited that looks really good so we're gonna have a good night i got a lot of stuff done i just threw my tennis shoes in the wash my white ones my white a6 ones that i always wear all the time and i love so just threw those in the wash i have to do some homework i don't want to do it
but that's okay. A new video is coming out tomorrow. It's my college outfits of the week. If you guys haven't watched it, definitely go watch it now because it was a really fun video and I really am happy about how it turned out, but I've been avoiding my homework because I just don't want to do it. I have to write a paper. I have to take a quiz, <sighs> but it's fine. I did a lot of fun things, so now I'm going to go do some homework once I get back and eat dinner. But yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm just babbling at this point. So that's the update for now. I'll try and get some clips when we're at the berry farm. It's called Sandhill Berries. And I'll show you the pie. It's so good. I was. And he had his wife with him, but he looked real arrogant. He was just yeah. Yeah. But he was probably a lot too, I thought. Cook than he ever will be. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, the background flowers in the Okay, here's the dinner. It looks so good. We have some green beans on the side. I've never had acorn squash, so I'm excited. It's filled with mushrooms, turkey. I'll put the recipe down below, but it's actually really simple. It only took an hour, I think. It's actually really good. I didn't think I was going to like it. It was like mushy, but I liked it. Easy fall dinner. Definitely try this one out. Oh, and then when we went to Sand Hill Berries, they're out of my favorite pie, so I was really sad. But we still got chocolate raspberry cookies. And they have this little, like, cafe area where they sell dessert. And my dad and I got cheesecake, and we just sat down, and it was so nice. They have this goat also there that's so funny. It's always there. And, like, we were talking to this guy, he was standing too close to the fence and the goat came and up to him and he was carrying this like plastic bag. I think he bought something from one of the stores there. It wasn't plastic, it was like a paper bag. And the goat literally ate the bag, like ripped it apart and ate the paper. I was like, oh my God, it was actually so funny because this guy was like flustered. Mm, that was funny, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and then I have a lot of homework to do tonight, but the Penn State football game's on. So we're probably gonna watch that. It's really nice out tonight, so maybe sit outside and make a fire. We'll see. I just love being home because I can just do so many fun things and when I'm at school, it's kind of boring. Good morning. Look who's with me. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs because I saw this TikTok and it was like, Okay, I got my car all packed up. There's my bags. I have all my groceries back here. I just made a iced coffee in here. And then I have some cookies that I'm about to bring my grandparents because I'm gonna go say goodbye to them before I head back to school. When I got back from back to school, I had to go straight to the golf course to golf. So this is how I left my room a mess. My fridge. I had to put some of the cold stuff in there. Yeah, looks like a disaster. All this is a mess. And then Ben's a mess. And this drawer is a mess. Okay, like I have so much food. So we're gonna do a quick montage of organizing. 
ever. Okay, here's the finished board. Here's up here, I got bananas, cereal, and then in this box, everything is pretty much organized. Freezer is fine. And then in the fridge, I just have some stuff there, some stuff in the back. My ginger shots and turmeric shots on the side, jelly, oat milk for coffee, and then almond milk on the door. But yeah, I'm just gonna sweep the floor and then finish unpacking these bags and figure out when I'm gonna do my laundry.